Welcome back to the Shelter the Channel, folks. Today we are going to, I know I'm wearing the same thing as last week. Once again, I decide to film two videos at the same time. I know I'm crazy like that, right? Anyways, we're gonna try to keep this video very short today. If this is your first time on the channel, this is the Shell Toucher channel. It's true. We deal with all things. Camino de Santiago. Camino del Norte, Camino del Portugues, Camino this, Camino that. Tips, tricks, and hacks that you can apply to your trip and your journey across Spain or wherever. These are pretty much universal hiking tips that I've come up with on my own. And I think each one's unique in its own special way and will definitely help you um, or e ease the pains of pilgrimage. Is that what pilgrimage is about? Easing the pain of pilgrimage? I don't know. You decide for yourself. If you are interested in what we do or if you get something out of what we did today, please like, comment, and subscribe. And yes, definitely be sure to subscribe because you will stay informed with all the upcoming up and coming tips, tricks, and hacks as we move forward through the series. What are we talking about today? Doesn't matter. Hit it. Welcome back, folks. So today I thought we would talk about, real quick, sunglasses. Sunglasses. Often overlooked, not necessarily overlooked, looked through, often uh, given very little thought. And that's because many people, I don't know if this is true, but actually it is true. For the Camino, a lot of people aren't long distance hikers. They're just, they're looking for a long walk. This may be their first big trip. Hell, this may be their first big trip outside of their respective countries. So they're not used to walking all day long with sunglasses on their face and the things that can happen while you're wearing sunglasses on your face. So it's new to a lot of people and they, they, they often get this wrong on their first Camino. If they come back for the second time, they will often get this part right because of everything they learned on their first Camino. I've made every mistake you possibly could. So I'm here to right my wrong and right your wrongs before you wrong, you, before you do that. Some form of vicarious redemption. Whatever, we're gonna do it right the first time. So, sunglasses. Sunglasses. What happens with sunglasses is during the course of the day, depending on the make and model, I suppose, but these being aviators, these are actually Randolph's. These are the made in the USA. Very good company out of Massachusetts. These are the real aviator glasses. This is the stuff the pilots wear. They also do tune-ups. They really take care of you. They're a great American company. I mean, there's lots of great sunglasses made all around the world, but these are the real deal holy field when it comes to what pilots are actually wearing. So, Randolph's, look them up. Maybe I'll put a link below. You know, it's funny, actually. A, a thing about that, that company, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form, but I recently sent in this exact same pair to, not this exact same pair, this exact same model that I've used on the last two trips for a tuna. They lost it. They lost my sunglasses, and they had really sentimental value. I didn't mention this to them. They, in fact, I didn't have to say anything to them. I was like, oh, so you don't know where they are. They're like, don't worry about it. What model were they? We'll send you a new pair. So they did. I thought that was really cool. I, you know, I'm sad that I don't have those glasses anymore, but whatever. These are the same model, same make. I love them. They're really high quality and probably the best sunglasses I've ever owned. Just, and again, besides that, whatever Brand. you have, what typically happens is during the course of the day under the sun, you will sweat. And with the sweat, your glasses will start sliding down your nose. It gets ridiculous after a while to the point where you might not want to wear them. And you might get as far as getting a strap. So you can wear it around your neck. I highly recommend these. I recommend these more than a case. In fact, if you're trying to cut weight, you don't even need a case. Just get a strap. And when you take them off at night, if you're wearing a hat, just put them in the hat next to your bed. And the next day it goes right back on. So you want the strap. The problem with the strap is, though, unless there's something on the back of it, a little bead or a button or something to tighten that strap, they're going to continue to slide down your nose all day and drive you freaking nuts. It happened to me. Uh, my trick for that was, now these, this is actually a really nice uh, strap, I think anyways. It's threaded together. I believe it's by Chums. I'll put a link below if I can find it. I don't even know if they make this one anymore. This is probably about five years old at this point, but a really nice strap. It's made actually with thread. It reminds me of those friendship bracelets that you used to make as a kid. So it's got texture to it, which is great because this little nub that I put on here, this is from a cheap sunglasses strap which you can get for like, I don't know, probably a dollar. A multi-pack of maybe 15 for like $5. I don't know, I'll put a link below, but they, those cheap ones come with this little plastic rubbery nub. This works perfect on these. And any type of sunglasses strap that's textured, 
you might want to experiment with this. It's, it, was, it, was, it went on tight, which was perfect because now I can cinch it right to my head and it keeps my sunglasses in place. So that's my tip is get a little bead or buy the cheap sunglass strap, take the nub off and put it on some nice straps or you could actually use the cheap straps and you just, yeah, cinch it and these aren't going anywhere. It's that easy, folks. Another pro tip that I'll add to this is if you are using a sunglasses strap while you're using it, great during the course of the day. But remember, when you stop and eat in a cafe or a bar, take them off from around your neck. Not to the point where you lose them. Put them right in front of you on the table. Put them with other values. Put them in your pack, whatever. Or just, this is what I do. I just wear them like this while I'm eating or while I'm drinking, only because these work as like a catch-all. Funny story. Well, d during my first Camino, I was walking, stopped at a bar, got, I, I can't think what it was, maybe a, a sandwich of some sort. I, maybe it was a salad. There was definitely elements of salad involved. Tomate, especialmente. Pero, but, stopped at the bar, then I went, got back on the road, and I was walking for another few hours before I looked down, and I wasn't wearing my sunglasses because they were driving me nuts, because they were sliding down my nose, so I was like, you know what, forget it, I'm not even going to wear them. I looked down, however, at one point, there's a tomato along for the ride. It was like a hitcher. It was like right there. Freaking tomato. I was talking to people all day long. They must have seen me with this tomato inside my... So yes, when you're eating, don't have them hanging below you like a bib or like a jewel catcher. Like this. This is probably the best way to do it so you don't forget them or leave them behind. But again, another thing you could do is just take them off, wrap the strap around them, and leave them right in front of you on the table. So that's my sunglass hack, folks. Learn it. Know it. Live it. And this was probably my fastest tip, trick, and hack yet. Yes? 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 I looked for St. James. He wasn't there. Oh, now he is. Hello. Hello. What, what are you... How are you even here? <laughs> when Camino.